Hey guys, so I figured I'd let you in on what I'm working on today. Uh, I didn't have much time to prepare to get a real good film set up, but I just wanted to throw this in there real quick. I had some friends of mine asking about these hurricane shutters I was going to build over my windows for a storm that's coming in. Hopefully we won't be affected anyway by the storm, but just in case we are, I do have four foot by four foot windows that line the whole front of my cottage that I'm rebuilding. And I'd really hate for one of those windows to get broken and blow in on me or something like that. So what I've devised is some protective storm shutters that I'm actually making from fence picket boards. Uh, this whole project's costing me, I think I spent $60 including screws and all at Lowe's. Um, I'm only covering a few of the windows today. Uh, the storm's supposed to start coming in by tomorrow, so I just wanted to get some stuff done tonight. Okay, so here's my windows. So you can see that the whole front of the cottage is lined with these four foot by four foot windows. They're not exactly four foot by four foot. Some of them are three and a half, but they're all pretty close to four feet wide. These are west facing windows. They take a brunt of the wind whenever there is a storm. And I just want to help protect that in case there's flying debris or branches or anything of that nature. Okay, so what I did is I went and I got eight foot picket boards. Now these only cost $2.48 a piece at Lowe's. Uh, this is what they look like. These are a treated pine board. Now I've gone ahead and ripped all these down to four foot sections. So again, they were eight feet, ripped them down to four feet, okay? Then I got some one by four, one by four by eights. I went ahead and trimmed these down to four foot sections. So basically, I'm gonna lay out the one by fours like this. And then I'll lay down a picket board on each end like this. Now the thing I got to do is make sure that this is square. The way I decided to do this, and again, this is probably not the official way, but this is how I do it. I go ahead and make a measurement. I'm going to measure from this one by four to this one by four, and I'm going to set it at 36 inches. Now at 36 inches, that means that the edge of this will overlap six inches. We'll measure six inches from here to here. We'll line that up with the edge. And then we'll measure 36 inches from this to this. Now once we do that on both sides and screw down our four corners, this will be square. All right, I got my four corners screwed down and I went ahead and checked it and it seems like everything's square. Got this nice little piece of scrap wood here. Use this. I set it as a spacer, then I grab one of my four foot picket boards. I get the ends flush, use this as a spacer, and then after I put one screw there, I move my spacer up top, and then I'll put a screw there. By putting only one screw, I can still pivot the board. So I put one screw, pivot the board up against the stop up here, and then double screw it top and bottom. So let's go ahead and do that. All right, got them done. Did three of them. Now for the sake of calculation, these are five and a half inches wide. My windows are roughly four feet. So that's eight pieces, four feet tall. Eight boards would do two windows. So now I got to mount these things and I think I'm just gonna kind of screw them up for now. And then later I may do a slide or I may do a hinge or something. I'm just gonna go ahead and screw them to the wall. So gotta get the ladder out. One of the boards slipped and I tried to grab it and it had a screw poking out. I'm using my drill as a light, but uh, yeah, that hurts a little bit. I'm gonna go clean that up and then uh, got one more to do. All right, so it got too dark last night for me to finish the video, but I did get the uh, rest of the shutters put up. So here's what they look like. I think they'll work pretty good. Um, I am gonna come in here and probably cut them in the middle and then maybe put some hinges on them and make them so they'll open and close. So, all right, well, I got stuff to go do. 
I will see y'all later.